hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute octopus and what you're gonna need you're gonna need two types of yarn you're gonna need the main color and the color for the legs or the tentacles and you're gonna need the eyes and um, I use this the soft yarn so you can use any kind of yarn that you want but I recommend to use this one the soft one the soft one and you're gonna need some staffing too and I used a crochet hook that is 2.5 millimeters so you can use that or you can use a bigger one so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the magic ring and then we do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to create the magic ring and do one two three four five and six okay and then we're going to close the gap that we created okay and then I'm going to take my marker and put it over here so that I remember where uh, to end for the next row so actually this is the head we're going to make you know the octopus is just going to be the head and the tentacles Okay. so in our second row we are going to increase all around all the six stitches for a total of 12 single crochet so you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch so you're going to do one and then in the same stitch you do another single crochet do two single crochet okay and then we're going to do that again in then in all the other stitches so you're going to do two single crochet in each stitch to single crochet then to single crochet the same stitch then again in the other stitch you do again to single crochet and to single crochet in the last stitch Okay, so after our second row, in our third row, uh, we're going to do single. So in our previous row, which is our second row, we have a total of 12 single crochets. So in our third row, we're going to do single crochet, then increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, increase and repeat the pattern all around for a total of 18 single crochets. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet single crochet then increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch okay then repeat that again single crochet and then increase increase okay and then you're going to repeat that all around until here where the marker is for a total of 18 single crochets okay so after our third row, uh, in our fourth row, we're going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then increase in the next stitch, single crochet in the next two stitches, increase, and repeat that all around for a total of 24 single crochets. So we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, and then increase in the next stitch, increase. Okay, and then repeat that again single crochet single crochet and then increase in the next stitch okay and then you're going to repeat that all around until here for a total of 24 single crochets so after that in our fifth row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches increase in the next single crochet in the next three stitches increase then we repeat all around for a total of 30 single crochets so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three and then increase 
So you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch. Okay, and then we're going to repeat that again. Single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three. Okay, and then increase, increase. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all around for a total of 30 stitches. So after that, in our sixth row, we are going to do single crochet in the next four stitches, increase in the next, and then repeat the pattern all around. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, single crochet, four, and then increase in the next stitch. So increase. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all around. So you're going to repeat single crochet in the next four stitches, increase all around until here where the marker is for a total of 36 stitches. After our sixth row, in our seventh row, uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches and then uh, increase in the next stitch and repeat the pattern all around for a total of 42 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, one, single crochet, two, single crochet, three, single crochet, four, single crochet, five, and then increase in the next, increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all around so you're going to repeat again five single crochet increase five single crochet increase all around until the end for a total of 40, 42 single crochets okay so after our seventh row in our eighth row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next six, six stitches then increase and then single crochet in the next six stitches and then increase in the others okay so we're going to do a single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six and then increase in the next stitch Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all around single crochet in the next six stitches then increase and repeat all around for a total of 48 stitches okay so after that in our ninth row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next seven stitches then increase in the next and then repeat the pattern all around for a total of 54 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet Two, single crochet, three, single crochet, four, single crochet, five, single crochet, six, single crochet, seven, and then increase in the next stitch. Increase. Okay, then you're going to repeat that all around seven single crochet increase seven single crochet until here at the end for a total of 54 stitches so after our ninth row uh, in our tenth row we're going to do single crochet in the next eight stitches increase single crochet in the next eight stitches then repeat that all around for a total of 60 stitches so you're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet six single crochet seven single crochet Eight, and then increase in the next stitch increase ok 
okay and then you're going to repeat that eight single crochet increase eight single crochet increase all around until the end for a total of 60 stitches okay so after you're done with your 10th row in the next row which is the 11th until the 18th row we're going to do single crochet all around uh, for a total of 60 stitches in each row so in the next eight rows make sure you do single crochet all around and i'll see you when you're done with your 18th row so that we start with uh, the 19th row together okay so after our 18th row uh in our 19th row you're going to start decreasing and uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next eight stitches then decrease then repeat the pattern all around okay so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five Single crochet six, single crochet seven, single crochet eight, and then decrease. So for decreasing, you're going to go in the front first loop, uh, front loop of the next uh, stitch, pull through, and then go in the front loop of the second stitch, pull through. So you have one, two, three, three loops on your hook. And then you're going to pull through all of them together okay so you're going to repeat that again so you're going to do eight single crochet one two three four five six seven eight and then decrease so go in the front loop pull through go in the front loop of the next one next stitch pull through and then pull through all of them so you're going to repeat that all around until the end for a total of 54 stitches okay so after that in our 20th row we're going to do single crochet in the next seven stitches decrease and repeat all around for a total of 48 stitches okay so we're going to do one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet Six single crochet seven single crochet and then decrease so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and pull through all of them together okay and then you're going to repeat that so seven single crochet decrease seven single crochet decrease all around for a total of 48 stitches Okay, so after that in our 21st row, we're going to do single crochet in the next 6 stitches, then decrease, and then we're going to repeat the pattern all around for a total of uh, 42 stitches. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, 1, single crochet, 2, single crochet, 3, single crochet, 4, single crochet, 5, single crochet six and then decrease so you're going to the front loop go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all of them okay so you're going to repeat the pattern all around until the end uh, for a total of 42 stitches okay so after our 21st row in our 22nd row we're going to do single crochet in the next five stitches and then decrease in the next and then repeat the pattern all around for a total of 36 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet 
five and then decrease and then we're going to repeat that all around so you're going to do five single crochet decrease all around for a total of 36 stitches okay so in our 23rd row uh, we're going to do single crochet in the next four stitches and then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 30 stitches okay so you're going to do single crochet one two single crochet three single crochet four and then decrease in the next stitches and then we're going to repeat that all around uh, for a total of 30 stitches so uh, after you're done with this row please make sure you staff all the way uh, so that it doesn't become harder as you continue so we're going to start staffing now and uh, if you're making it for a newborn uh, make sure to insert to, uh, to insert the rattle inside and okay I'll see you when you're done with this row then you can start uh, the 24th row together Okay, so after our 23rd row, in our 24th row, we are going to do single crochet in the next 3 stitches, then decrease and then repeat all around for a total of uh, 24 stitches. So we are going to do single crochet, 1, single crochet, 2, single crochet, 3, and then decrease. In the next stitches so we're going to go in the first loop pull through go in the next loop pull through and then pull through all of them together okay and then you're going to repeat that all around so you're going to do single crochet in the next three stitches decrease and repeat all around for a total of 24 stitches as you can already see i've already started stuffing so you should start stuffing too because it's going to become harder uh, as we move on Okay, so after our 24th row, in our 25th row, we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches and then decrease single crochet in the next two stitches, decrease and repeat all around for a total of 18 stitches. Okay, so you're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, and then we're going to decrease in the next stitches two stitches and then you're going to repeat that all around single crochet uh, two single crochet decrease two single crochet decrease all around for a total of 18 stitches okay so guys after you finish with your 25th row make sure you stuff all the way because this is the last stuffing that you're going to do and then in our 26th row we're going to do single crochet decrease single crochet decrease all the way around for a total of 12 stitches so we're going to do single crochet and then decrease in the next two stitches so you're going to go in the front loop pull through go in the next front loop pull through and then pull through all of them and then you're going to repeat that all around so you're going to do single crochet decrease and then decrease in the next one okay and then you're going to repeat that all around until here where your marker is okay so now for the 27th row which is our last row we're going to decrease all the way around for a total of six stitches so you're going to decrease decrease and then again decrease okay and then you're going to decrease all the way around until here and when you're done cut your one cut your yarn and then i'll show you how to do the legs okay so for the tentacles we're going to start uh with the color at the bottom so remember we have two colors so we have the main color which is our main color for the head and we have the color this color which is going to be the color below for the tentacles and so we're going to start with the this one the pink yarn or is it the orange yarn 
and we're going to start with the, with a chain 30 so you're going to do one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Okay, so this is how your chain is gonna look like. And then after you're done with your chain 30, uh, you're going to start with a second I mean you're going to start with a single crochet in the second chain from the hook so you're going to do a single crochet and then uh, in the in the other chain I mean in the third chain you're going to do half double crochet I mean half double crochet so for the half double crochet you have to yarn over go in the next chain and pull through and then you have one two three three loops on your hook so you're going to pull through all the three loops okay and then we're going to do half double crochet in the next chain too so you're going to yarn over go in the next chain pull through and then pull through all the loops okay and then uh in the next two chains we're going to do double crochet so double crochet you yarn over go in the next chain pull through and then pull through the first two loops so you have two loops left on your hook and then you pull again those two uh two loops left on your hook and then you're going to do another double crochet so you're going to yarn over go in the next chain pull through pull through the first two loops and pull through the next two loops okay and then now for the remaining uh hooks until the end we are going to do a, a triple crochet so what does it mean for a triple crochet so you're going to yarn over two times so yarn over one time yarn over the second time and then go in the next chain pull through so you have one two three four hooks on your uh on your chain so i mean four chains on your hook so you're going to pull through the first two chains and then you have three left and then pull again the next two and then pull through the next two okay so you're going to repeat that until the end so you're going to yarn over two times and then go in the next chain pull through okay pull through the first time pull through the second time and pull through the third time okay so you're going to repeat that until the end so yarn over Go in the next hook, pull through, and then pull through one, pull through two, and pull through three. Okay, so please repeat that until the end, and then when you finish, cut your yarn, and then you're going to repeat the same pattern to do this one uh, with the blue yarn or the main color. And then when you're finished, don't cut the yarn when you're done with the main color. And then I'll show you how to join the two together. Okay, so guys, after you're done making uh, the two of them, so you have the blue one and the pink one. So as you can see, we didn't cut uh, the yarn for the blue one. So you're going to place them uh, with the pink one under and the blue one on top. So you're going to place them together like that. And then you're going to do single crochet all around through the two of them together. So you're going to go in the first one. Okay, so go in both the two of them and then do a single crochet. So single crochet. Oops. Okay, and then you're going to go also in the next one, do single crochet. Ok, 
Okay, and then you're going to repeat that all around. So you're going to do single crochet. Okay, repeat, single crochet. Okay, so it's going to look something like that, uh, as you can see. So when you're done, so you're going to do single crochet, single crochet all around. And when you get here at the end, you can see we have the two, the two here together. They are a little bit thinner. So at the corner here, you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch, and then continue stitching all around single crochet, single crochet until you reach here at the end. So when you're done, so you're supposed to do eight tentacles. So you're supposed to make uh, eight of these, the blue one and eight of these are uh, the pink one and then you join them together and then you have eight legs so after you're done guys i'll show you how to join the whole thing together okay so guys as you can see i already finished joining so i put the eyes at the middle and i embroidered the mouth so when you finish with the tentacles you're supposed to attach them here at the very bottom of the of the head and they just fit perfectly so you just have to sew them in like uh, all of them together as you can see and i hope you guys enjoy this video um if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe and check out my other videos too oh and i forgot to tell you about the bow so this bow i used the bow that i uh that i made for the baby shoes the baby boots that i made in my channel so if you want to make the bow too please check out my uh, baby boots video and then you can see how to make it okay so thank you guys so much for watching see you in my next video bye